everybody, and welcome back to PJ and B. I wanted to do a very quick video on these treats that you can actually make for your dog, but it's also something you can make as an appetizer at a, at a family get together. It's actually how I learned about uh, these uh, these treats that you can make. You can really make it for yourself or you can make it for your dog. It's it's gonna be safe for your dog to eat. Basically, these treats that I'm gonna show you how to prepare and make are treats that, I keep saying treats, but it's really an appetizer that I grew up eating at my family parties. It's a, a very simple recipe. It's three ingredients. It's uh, white bread, cream cheese, and bacon and just want to show you how to, to prepare it and make it. And you know, this is something you're not going to want to give your dog all the time. You know, you can give them one a day if, if you want, uh, you know, you can eat them all yourself, but you know, it's safe for both you and the dog to eat and everything in moderation, right? Especially if it's bacon, bread and cream cheese. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's going to be very simple. And I also wanted to just, I wanted to just give a, a little warning here. I, I was following the recipe. This is actually my first time making it. The, the recipe calls for you to cut bacon strips in half. And as you're going to see in this video, I cut the bacon strips in half vertically. So it was extremely skinny. But what you're really gonna wanna do is cut it in half horizontally, not vertically. I made it a, I made it a lot more difficult for myself than I should have. Even if you do cut it vertically, you'll be able to to still prepare this this appetizer or this uh, treat should you want to give it to your dog. And uh, it's it's still going to work. It's just going to be a little weird. You know, you're going to have to wrap uh, since it's vertical it's skinny, you're going to have to wrap it, uh, you know, You'll see. You'll see how I did it. This is a, a treat you can give your dog. Uh, just don't don't give them too much. You know, cream cheese, bread, and bacon. But it is something that they will love. I haven't been anywhere where anyone makes this, so this is a family recipe. And just wanted to share it with everyone. I don't know where they got this recipe from. It's it's simple. It's absolutely delicious. It might be your favorite treat. Remember. I cut it vertically, you should cut it horizontally in half, the bacon strip, and uh, it'll be a lot easier for you to roll it up. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All you're gonna need is some white bread, and some bacon, and then some uh, whipped cream cheese. And uh, yeah, just make sure it's, uh, you know, make sure it's some white bread. I got this from ShopRite. And then you're gonna want to get toothpicks. You can't, you really, you can't make this without toothpicks. You're gonna have to, to use it to keep the appetizer together. So first we're gonna start off with the bread and the cream cheese. All right, so we got four slices of bread. Uh, just so, this is gonna make 12 servings, so 12 little uh, uh, bacon cheese bread roll-ups. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to call them, we never had a name. You got four slices here, you got in your knife, of course. Um, again, you don't need to get the whipped cream cheese, but I do have to say it's a lot easier to spread. So you're gonna wanna spread it. You can get uh, four ounces of cream cheese works. You know, four slices of bread, four ounces of cream cheese, and then six slices of bacon. That's gonna make the, the 12 servings. So first, we're gonna wanna spread some cream cheese Again, just uh, make sure you have four ounces. It'll make it, uh, it'll give you enough cream cheese for, for this uh, appetizer or dog treat. Let me just, let me just do this first. Now, 
I'm really not sure how much, how many ounces I'm using at this current moment, but just make sure you spread the cream cheese evenly on each piece. And don't worry about the crust, we're actually gonna be taking that off. So just make sure, spread it nice and even. It's a little bit messy. You're gonna get some cream cheese on your fingers, so hopefully that doesn't scare you. Again, just make sure it's evenly spread. I'm really getting cream cheese all over my fingertips here. That doesn't seem too even right there. So th this this appetizer slash dog treat, if you uh, so wish to make it a dog treat, it's um, completely safe for, for your dog to eat. Again, high in fat, of course, cream cheese and bacon and bread. So carbs too. This is a, a family recipe. Like I said, been eating this since I was a child. It's always my favorite. I go to my grandma's and uh, she would make it at every family party, you know, Christmas, birthdays. And it's just, uh, it's, it's just such an easy thing to make. And this is gonna be great for a very picky eater. Your, your dog is absolutely gonna gobble it up. But like I said, make sure this is a rare treat for them. Don't feed them too many of these. Don't feed them like it's popcorn. Because uh, this, uh, you know, it's, you don't want to feed your dog too much of this. But feel free to eat as much of this as you like. All right, so we're done with the, the cream cheese now. All right, so before we get the bacon out, the, the next step in this process is to get yourself a knife. And we're gonna cut the crust off of all four of these. So we, we don't want, you know, who, who wants some crust? Who the heck wants some crust? Nobody wants the crust. Oh. I should probably get myself a paper towel to put all these discarded crusts. All right. You can always just eat the crust if you want. You don't have to throw it out. I'll probably eat it because I don't like wasting money. And as my grandma always said, there's children starving in Africa. So you always, you always gotta eat your plate clean and she actually, uh, she would change it. I think she used to say, there's children starving in China. And then she changed it to, to Africa. So all I knew is that there were people starving and I had to stop wasting food. Which is probably why I eat entirely too much when I do eat. I don't like leaving a, I don't like leaving a plate with any food on it. Got to Basically, lick it clean. Okay, so now the bread has no crust, which is what we want. Next step is we are going to cut them in three equal slices. So, I like to do a little... So, this is what we're gonna do. Apologies for the shaky hands. I uh, drank a lot of caffeine this morning, which is why I would never be a, a surgeon. 
We're probably gonna have to spread the cream cheese a little bit back on there. Some of it is coming off. Okay, so now we got our slices. Time to get the bacon. All right, bacon time. We got six slices of bacon. We're gonna cut it in half, each one. So you can you can do it all. You can do it all at once if you want. Sorry, let me move this over so we can see it. I find it easier to cut it in half like this. Just roll it up. I should say fold it up. Alright, so we got that. Alright, we got our six slices of bacon, made them into 12. So now the next step, we're gonna start rolling them up. We got our bread over here. There's our bread with the cream cheese. We got our bacon. Now we're gonna to wanna to take just one. We want one strip bacon. And we're gonna want one piece of bread. So, I don't know if you can see, let me move that a little bit. So now we got our bacon strip, and we are going to roll and that, that is it, that's all you got to do. So now we're gonna do that for the rest of them. So again, you take one strip of bacon. You can get our bread. And then we just roll it up. There you have it. You got 12 bite-sized appetizers ready to be put into the oven. Got your little cooking sheet right here. And you're just going to want to put them right there.
Okay, so give or take 15 minutes. Not only do you have a, a dog treat for your, your dog, your puppy, but you're also going to have an absolutely delicious appetizer or d'oeuvre that you can gobble up. So just let that cool down. Let that cool down before you give it to, uh, to your buddy. And that's it. You know, just, uh, again, give or take 15 minutes. This should be done on 350. And, uh, you know, just wait until it gets a little, wait till it gets a little crispy on the outside. And it's going to be absolutely perfect. So, once these cool down, I'm going to give my Zelda one. And you'll see how she does not, not inhale it. Zelda! Hi, honey. You want a little... You want some bacon? You want some bacon? Good girl. Yep, she already wants more. She sits on this mat when she wants me to give her some food. Sit. Down. 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 Here, tell that this. No. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching this video. Feel free to share this with anyone that you know, friends, family, coworkers, someone that has a dog, especially a picky eater dog, or someone that loves food. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. If you did like this video or any of my other videos, Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notifications whenever I post new content. I'm going to try to get a more of a regular schedule on the PJMB channel and post weekly or at least a semi-weekly basis. And I want to hear from you. What do you want me to cover in my next video? I've been pretty responsive in the comment section, so let me know. And of course, if you do make this appetizer slash dog treat, how did it come out? How did you like it? How did your dog like it? I'm looking forward to seeing you next time, and I will see you next time, guys. <laughs>